Hey, this is Good Money Stewart, and I'm coming at you with a meal that I'm doing today. It's a roast. I'm doing this um, yellow rice, macaroni and cheese, and my all-time favorite, the green beans I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, they tell me for the rice that I need to add two cups of water, but I prefer using this chicken broth that I get uh, from the Dollar Tree. Is chicken, uh, chicken ready, kitchen ready. And so I've already got the water boiling for that because it has to be boiling. You have to have two tablespoons of rice in it, which I've got that going. Then you put that over in there and you just, you know, stir it, put the top on it, let it go. Then I got the mac and cheese, which I'm going to try this with the uh, box that I have. This is from Kroger's and it's the original mac and cheese. So I'm just going to add this plus the packet that they have in there which will make it just a bit more cheesier and like I said I got the green beans my roast is in the oven and to my green beans what I like to do is add just a little oil and this is canola oil and so I'm going to put that in my pot of green beans which I love these are the ones with the mushrooms just maybe a cap full I really don't add any seasonings to this because it is well seasoned and I don't want it over salty. So let's go ahead, let's get the rice in because the water is really, really boiling. And like I said, this is the rice that is from, I don't want to, because I've got it open, from the Dollar Tree. And the directions are right on the back. It says two, oops, almost made a mistake there, you guys. I need to put one more fourth of this chicken broth in there because it's two and one fourth cups and I'm glad I got to talking so that I would write, add the right amount and so you put that in there you can add two tablespoons olive oil or margarine I put the margarine in and that's an option then the uh, one pack of the vertical yellow rice stir while boiling for a minute cover and then reduce to simmer 20 to 25 minutes so I'm going to go ahead put this in there to let you see that but oh well it's on the stove and I am cooking it is not a fake cook show <laughs> I'm really cooking it so I'm gonna stir this and while I'm doing that my water for my uh, noodles is boiling and as soon as that gets to boiling then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my mac and cheese and hopefully what time is it? It is here. It is 2.53. We're Central Standard Time. My roast should be done, I'd say, about 3.30. So I'm going to go ahead and... Let me see. Is there something missing? I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And when it come back, it should all be done. And me and Juliana are going to have a nice Sunday dinner. So, see you in a few. Okay, so I have been stirring this rice. I am now going to let it simmer. So I'm going to put the top on that. This is my top. I'll put my top on that. And now, oops, the wrong top. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to get the right top because it had to have a oh, had to have a secure top on it. Okay, I'm going to put my mac and cheese in. Well, the noodles anyway. And again, this is from Kroger. This is their brand that I'm using. So I'm going to put that in. Get that to going. Let those cook for about 20 minutes or so. And then I'll be back to add the cheese. The double cheese. Not just one cheese, but a double cheese. So i see you in a few. Okay, my noodles are ready to drain, so I'm going to take those, drain some of the water off. I really kind of like leaving some of the pasta water in because it it helps the noodles. I've been watching cooking shows, y'all. It kind of... <laughs> I make myself laugh. Um, it helps the, the pasta to stick better to the cheese sauce. So let me, let me do this. that water in there okay so 
front. I need to turn that down some because I don't want my noodles to burn. And I do like adding... Oh, milk. I don't really measure that. I just know I put enough in so that it sticks. And I think you can... You'll see that when you do it. Let me step into frame so you can see me. So this is the dry mix that I'm going to put in. Then this is the Velveeta. First time I saw it in the store that I was able to get it. The uh, cheese sauce. So I'm going to cut it down the side so I can really get all of this out of here. I like getting all my product. Not some of it, all of it. Okay, can drop that down in there. Okay, mix this in here. Cheesy guys, that's cheesy wheezy. Trying to make up my mind since my kids are gonna have their dinner over to my daughter's house, what I want to make. I know one thing I went and got. I don't know about y'all, but I went and got them Patty LaBelle pies. Trying to see, yes I did. I love me some Patty LaBelle pies. Now I can make a pie, and it's not bad. But I'm taking shortcuts. The guy that I work for, he says, you young women, y'all just lazy. Y'all just don't want to cook. No, it's not that I don't want to cook because I can cook. But if I can take a step that is easier for me, and there are times when I do. I'll cook totally from scratch. I do my own little thing. And now one thing I add that most people probably will find strange I like to put a little sugar in my Mac. I don't measure it. I just put enough where I know I'm going to like it. You know, sometimes I'm not about measuring, especially if I've made it before. I just go with what I know. So I put a little of that in there. I'm going to stir this up really, really good because it's quite cheesy, you guys. And I got my rice cooking. My green beans are cooking. It is now 3.08. My roast should be done. And I cut onions and garlic and uh, green peppers in over that. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm going to show you what I've got. The macaroni and cheese. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I got the macaroni and cheese. If I can get that on there. Got the macaroni and cheese. I've got the rice. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. I've got my roast. It looks so good, guys. I'm going to cut it up and plate it and let you see what it looks like. And then I have my favorite green beans the screen is getting a little fogged up so let me let me plate it I gotta let it the roast sit for a little bit because if you cut it too soon you lose all the juices been watching TV you guys so hold on and I'm gonna get it plated and I'll be back I am going to I still recording guys yeah I am <laughs> I'm going to add some of this sauce supreme uh, brown gravy mix to my juices off of my can you see that juice that came off this roll so I'm just gonna pour maybe about a tablespoon into that Sorry about the bad video and ugh. but now I gotta find my measuring spoons. My hands are all in the front of the camera. Maybe I won't add maybe a teaspoon, two tables, 
two tablespoons, two uh, tablespoons to this, and I'm gonna mix it up really, really good. It's got all those onions and stuff down in there, and let me get my. I can't switch my phone over, so that's why you get to look at my face. But I'm mixing that in there, and I'm going to set this back. And a friend of mine today at church, I love my, my family there at the church that I go to. She got me these bags because last Sunday we had a um, dinner after church. And she said, Debbie, why don't you use these bags in your crock pot and you have less cleanup? And she brought me these today. And they're the Reynolds Kitchen Slow Cooker Liners. Thank you so much, Kathy. And I know this little sticker, it came from... Um, Big lots. They were $2.30. So I'm going to use these little babies. So hold on. I'm going to cut my meat. Then I'm going to show it back to you. And hopefully I'll be done. Okay, guys. This is my meal. My and Juliana's meal. I got my roast, the rice, the mac and cheese, and my green beans. And then I'm going to add this Simply Cranberry and orange juice has my drink so I mix them together and they are absolutely great so thank you for watching me make this meal it's, it looks good and I am ready for it so everyone have a wonderful Sunday afternoon I'm about to chow down talk to you later Here's my drink. Here's to you guys. Ta-ta.